Now we will see how to design XS3 adder. When we are adding two XS3 numbers, sum will become XS6. How this will happen? Let us consider an example 1 plus 4 equal to 5. Now let us represent the same in XS3. 1 in XS3 is 4, so 0, 1, 0, 0. 4 in XS3 is 7, so 0, 1, 1, 1. And 5 in XS3 is 8, that is 1, triple 0. So, but we are, when we add these two numbers, 1 and 4 in XS3, we are getting 1, 0, double 1, which is 11 in base 10. But we are supposed to get 8, that is 1, 0, 0, 0, as XS3 for 5 base 10. So, here what happens, the difference is nothing but 3, that is, uh, we need to subtract 3 from the result. Instead of getting 8, we are getting 11 actually. So, when we subtract 3 from the result, when we subtract from 3 from this 1, 0, double 1, then we will get 1, triple 0, which we need as a correct answer. So, and also there, there is other case here which we need to consider. Consider another example, 6 plus 7, which wherein the result is 13 base 10. So, if we are consider the same in XS3, we are getting 1001 plus 1010. 1, 6 in base uh, XS3 is 1019. 1, 7 in XS3 is 10, that is 1010. 1, so, when we add these two numbers, we are getting 1011. 1, 1. But 13 in XS3 is uh, 0100. 0, 0, 0, 0. So, what happens here is I get this number when we add 3 to this. So, when what, what actually we are supposed to do here is nothing but when we are having a carry, we are supposed to add 3. When we are don't have a carry, we are supposed to subtract 3 from the result. This is how the XS3 adder design is. Ban two binary parallel adders will be used for this. So, in this case, if you see uh, X, X and Y are two XS3 numbers where we are going to perform addition. So, S3, S2, S1, S0 are the result of XS3 addition. Initially, this is the intermediate uh, result. So, when C4, as we have seen in the previous slide, when C4 is equal to 1, then this uh, we are going to add 3. And when C4 is equal to 0, we are going to subtract 3. Subtracting 3 is nothing but adding minus 3 which is 2's complement of 3. So, if C4 is equal to 1, what happens? This will become 1 and this will become 0, 0. So, here it is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, adding 3. If C4 equal to uh, 0, this will become 1. So, here it will be 1, 1 and this will be 0. So, it is 1, 1, 0, 1. That is adding 13 to the result. So, here this is fine. And now, when you see the second digit of your result, C4, if it is equal to 0, it will be 0 only. And if it is equal to 1, 1 in XS3 is 4. So, we say 0, 1, 0, 0. So, the result uh, digit is 4 and this is a first digit and this is the second digit of your final result. So, if you see in the previous, uh, in the previous slide, you can see that if no carry is there, we can see that uh, second digit is not there. This is only one digit of XS3. And here if you see when carry is generated, this is the first digit of XS3 and this is the second digit of XS3. So, this only we are telling that carry bit is being added. This is how XS3 adder is performed.